Comfort is not just about how it fits on you, it's about how you feel in the fit. So remember that. What's good YouTube, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I'm back at it again with another how to shop online video. This time it's gonna be focused and featured on athleisure. I hope that you enjoy this one. Let a girl know by hitting the like button below and also what your favorite garment of athleisure is. Mine are definitely yoga leggings, but we'll get more into that as we go on in this video. I'm all about that athleisure life. It's been my thing for the last year or so, especially living life on lockdown. We all want the casual, comfy, yet put together pieces, right? So I hope that my guide will help you guys pick pieces that are not gonna be just perfect for the athletic world and your workouts, but also gonna work out for your daily life. So let's get into it. Let's start at the back of the back of the back. I recently downloaded this again. This is the Lululemon be all in. They always got these phrases. So my first tip when it comes to Lululemon, and I had to start with Lulu since I'm a Canadian girl, is to go through the what's new tab. I know I said in the last video to stay away from what's new, but that was because with stores like Zara, you don't wanna get overwhelmed with billions of different things. When it comes to the wonderful world of athleisure, it's a little easier to just scroll for maybe five, 10 seconds and get an idea of what the trends are. What's the upcoming colorway? What are the cuts? What fabrics are they working with? And this gives you a good idea, if you're a shopaholic, what you might wanna add as a piece to your collection. I look at clothes and purchasing clothes always as an addition to what I already have. So I'm not gonna pick something out of left field. So the what's new gives me an idea of, oh, maybe if I get this bra this week in a month, I can get the matching leggings, or maybe it's just a one-off thing or they're phasing out of it, you know what I mean? Another tip I have for you when it comes to buying, let's say yoga leggings, is to save money in the strangest places. Here's an example. If you're part of the height challenge committee, 5'4 over here, you can get away with getting the shorter length pants. Stores like Lululemon like to do like different lengths, so we'll have the extra tall ones. So tall girls, I'm sorry, I don't really have a hack for you right now, but I'll figure something out. But if you are on the shorter side, you can get away with the seventh, eighth length instead of the full length, and you'll save about 15 to $30, depending on how expensive the garment is. I found with stores like these and other ones that I'll mention in a bit, for some reason, it's a big price difference for just two inches of fabric. So if you don't mind having just a little less, I personally love the seventh, eighth look. And also if you're shorter than me, it's gonna look full length on you anyway. You can save a lot of money, especially if you're building up your yoga legging collection. Last tip before we move on to another app is to go through and of course look at the fabric. As I mentioned in the last video, fabric and feel is paramount. I'm all about textures. I don't know if it's because I'm losing one sense and paying attention to the other four more, but it's all about the way things feel on my body. This is to the next level when it comes to athleisure. I'm not just wearing this stuff to lounge around in the house or to run errands. I'm also potentially gonna be using this on my mat or when I go to the gym. So this stuff has to be able to breathe, be sweat wicking, and also feel and fit and have me snatched. So when it comes to fabric, you wanna take the time to look at not just the fabric composition, but more importantly, how the company describes the fabric. I find a lot of times they'll give you the details and sometimes, sometimes even expose themselves for what they're selling you. If they say one fabric is more non-pilling or doesn't fade, then you know the one that doesn't have the description is more likely to be that way. So that's why I don't buy Luan, for example. I'm all about Luxstream over here. Super lightweight, never pills, and takes longer to fade. Okay, enough about Lulu, let's go over to Aloe World. With Aloe, it's way more expensive than Lululemon. They include all their duties and free shipping, so at least you don't have to calculate that being a Canadian. But it ain't cheap, okay? And they only have a sale twice a year, so you catch them on Black Friday or Boxing Week, that's it. Otherwise, you're paying full price. But my tip for stores like Aloe is you can get them from other places. They sell Aloe on Indigo if you're Canadian, and sometimes it's cheaper, they'll have a sale. Nordstrom.com and Nordstrom stores, again, sometimes they have sales. They have limited offerings compared to the site, of course, but if you're going for a banging basic, you can get it for a cheaper price there. Another tip I have when it comes to stores like Aloe, and this is gonna be, I wouldn't say controversial, it's not that serious, but when you're picking a piece that's this pricey, stick with something a little more classic. Okay, you may get a cute cut or something a little out there and edgy, but personally for me, I'll never buy a wild color out, out the gate from Aloe because I need this piece to last me for my lifetime. 
for the amount of money I'm paying, I'm going to get the neutral tones. I'm going to get the dark. That's why I have navy. That's why I have dark purple. That's why I have the neutral beiges because as pretty as blue is, I can't be wearing this all year, everywhere, anywhere. So I'm going to stick to the basics. Athleisure is supposed to be versatile. It's not just things that you work out on. It's going to work out for you in your everyday life. I can't see myself wearing these blue pants to work. I can get away with the black ones, though, if I wear it with a long sweater. Or I can wear, you know, maybe the navy one and throw on a white crop top and I can go for a walk or get groceries. You want to make sure that whatever you're getting is going to suit your style. If you're all about the hot pinks and the fiery reds, go for it, girl. Live your best life. Personally, over here, I'm all about keeping it basic, especially when it's a lot of coins. Oh, 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 okay. Last tip, especially when it comes to places that you're purchasing that are far away, so you can't just take it to the store and exchange it and try again. When it comes to sizes and cuts specifically, especially with this whole high-waisted crop, biker, side cut, booty out type of thing that we have going on these days, is to go on Instagram. Instagram is your best friend for seeing how things look on different bodies. Because everyone's trying to be an Insta influencer, they're always posting. So if you go on the Aloe tab, for example, and you look at people tagging Aloe, you can often see how things will fit and check it in different colors. Sometimes I find darker colors, blacks, you know, the black current color, the ox bloods, the navy blues don't really show details and texture as much as a lighter color would. So when you go on Instagram, you can look at the hot pink or the bright yellow, even though you may not have any interest in either, just to see how it sits on a similar body type. The good thing about going on the gram and swiping through other people wearing clothes is you can get an idea of how things are going to look in different scenarios. Sometimes things look completely different in natural sunlight or superimposed with a different background versus just the white background or how they photographed it. Sometimes you'll notice like, oh, the band is cutting into homegirl a little like this and I'm not trying to have that. So it's really good when you kind of look and you cross reference against other people, not just the models <laughs> to get an idea of how something's going to fit on your real body by looking at real bodies. My last tip I don't have an app for because it's just that. It's to go on sites that you wouldn't consider would have athleisure. The thing about trends nowadays is that every company is trying to get their hand in the pot. And since athleisure is so popular with this life on lockdown we're living, everybody sells athleisure. Everyone's got a few pieces, if not a whole athleisure line that might suit your style your size, your body type. So for me, I never in a million years thought that I would find anything I would like, especially when it comes to the athleisure world, from free people. When I think of free people, I think of boho, hippie, airy fairy vibes. I have a kimono from there that is a whole je ne aiko vibe, okay? But I never thought in a million years that two of my favorite jumpsuits would be from here. And I'm all about, I could make a whole separate video about jumpsuits. Maybe one day I will. You can get a snatched one piece from Free People. Yes, it is a little pricey, but the lighter pair is definitely worth it. I will let you know that the darker one faded real quick and I got a dark green color thinking it would last longer than black. Nope, that ain't it. So stick to the lighter shades. I gotta keep it real. Definitely look at the reviews because people will really tell you, especially since there's no sales on here. They're going to let you know if they think it was worth it. And that's going to give you an idea if you want to deal with the duties, the taxes, waiting for the packages to arrive, all of that stuff. The wonderful world of athleisure spans past the Adidas and the Nikes and all the places you might think. There's Meshki, there's Pretty Little Thing, there's Misguided, there's Tiger Miss, which I wouldn't recommend. There's so many different boutiques online. There's even little sections in stores. The stores are still closed here, but when they open up, you know, you have a free time on Saturday, just go look in a random store. I'm sure they're going to have something super light and flowy or sucked in and snatched that you would never consider they selling at this store. It's crazy how everyone, even White Fox, White Fox Boutique used to be the place I would go to to get that dress. You know, that dress, the dress that people were like, whoo, you looked really good at that wedding. Now they have loungewear and athleisure and I'm kind of like, I don't know how to feel about this because I think you should stick to that category, but you know, get it how you live it. So just keep an open mind when looking for athleisure because you never know. You never know. You literally never know. Even Holt Renfrew has like a whole athleisure branded side. They have Mishi. They have, I forgot the names of everything because I can't afford them, but they got a lot. Athleisure can be very sporty and boxy and edgy. Sometimes it can be sultry and sensual and sometimes too out there. 
but there's literally something for everyone and remember comfort is key and comfort is not just about how it fits on you it's about how you feel in the fit so remember that the next time you pick out a piece that you want to wear that goes from the streets to the studio anyway that wraps up this video i feel like i talked a lot let me know how you like this one i'm going to do the home decor one next don't you worry so until next time stay safe stay sane stay blessed love and later hey